it was a unanimous decision from all the judges that Mfam is the winner of the IPO 48. Yes. We started writing down the ideas on a piece of napkin papers. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Preston Book. I come from Denmark and uh, I was the one who had the idea of building Human IPO and also were behind in, uh, this IPO 48 event in Nairobi. I remember one day calling Susan and telling her, you know, like, do you think we are going? She sent me an SMS. She told me, we are winning this. Don't have any doubt about it. When we pitched to the Danish Minister of Development, yeah, and he was so amazed with the kind of idea that we pitched about. And from there, yeah, when he gave a go ahead, we were like, wow. We noticed that every time we go through the newspapers, the farmers are complaining. We said, why not come up with something that can solve these problems that they have, with the skills that we have. So we came up with this solution of farmers getting information through the mobile phone. So you actually get to work on your idea for, for 48 hours with the help from online mentors. All of these mentors from all over the world who are helping us, you know, uh, organize our business plan in a better way. And what happened in that process is you see how people work as a team. You see if somebody cuts through and say, okay, we can't spend that much time on this, let's do this. We put up the business plan. We went for sleepless nights. By the time we were going to that competition, we knew that we have a project that is going to win. So we want to do it step by step. So let the farmer see what technology can do. Get used to change. You don't have to use your phone only by calling your relatives, but you can also do business using your phone. So once they accept that, then we go to the next step. The moment we heard about this competition, we said, when we win, then we'll find ourselves really helping Kenyans to solve our problems that everybody is facing. Yeah.